Welcome back YouTube. So today I'd like to walk you through how I make well, a very simple and basic cut. I've actually had a lot of people ask me throughout the years how I'm able to cut a very straight perpendicular line with just a handsaw without any special tools or fences. And really it's quite simple. It's just a quick technique and well, I'd love to show you. What you'll need is your preferred saw. Uh, I actually like these little box saws that I have. You will need, well, obviously you're gonna need a piece of wood. You're gonna need a square, just a simple triangle, and a couple clamps. Now let me run you through the basic operation first, and then I'll demonstrate it. Use the square both to mark your line and to get your cut uh, started. You need at least two clamps, and I found this out the hard way. One clamp provides strength, but it's still a pivot point. Two clamps, and you'll be in pretty good shape. Well, let me show you how it's done. Now, the closer you clamp this to the edge of your piece, the more stability you're going to have. So the further out you go, the less stable it will be. So you want to run a clamp right at the end and as far back as is practical. That way it's not going to move. Unfortunately, I need some more room here. Now, if you're going for a quick cut, obviously you don't have to mark it. However, I always like to line myself with the cut first and then bring the triangle back over. And the triangle now will serve as a temporary fence. And you have to determine first which side of the line you want the kerf to be on. And a kerf is just the material removed by the saw. Now once you have that established, you want to hold the saw and the fence firmly together. This way, if you remove the saw to check something, you can always align it right back up, no problem. Now this will give you a straight cut down for a little ways. Another good thing to do is, it, this has to do with ergonomics and uh, I guess biomechanics. You have a natural inclination to aim where you're pointing. Works in handguns, works in archery, works with handsaws. It's just something about the human anatomy. So, draw your cut back. A couple times to get it established. And once you get it cut, I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not, but I am just a hair to the outside of my line. So you want to keep a good posture. I know it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but it, you're pretty much just putting a lot of weight forward and letting your hand fall into it. You don't want to shove and push. You want the tool to do the work. And even though the tool is slightly rusty, you can actually see a slight reflection. And I'm going to try and pick this up on B-roll of both sides as you're working on it. Now, you can see how everything is nice and perpendicular to each other. If the spine wasn't on here, you'd be able to tell that is a nice 90 degree angle. Exactly what you're going for. Like I said in the beginning, this isn't the most exciting of videos. However, I do do these skill builders for a very good reason. This type of cut is fast. You don't need to set up any stop blocks and it's quieter than running a saw. Especially when you're working in an apartment and you have to worry about the noise that you generate for other people. It is all oh, rather important. I think it's an excellent skill to have to be able to cut a straight line with a handsaw. I think it's such a crucial skill. If you look back through all of my videos, you will notice that whenever I have multiple cuts that need to be very accurate, I, instead of using one of my tools or one of my power tools, I actually go back to my hand saws. And even when I'm cutting half lap joints, 
I always cut the outside line, the one that matters, I always cut that with a handsaw first. It might just be habit that's coloring my judgment, but I don't think so. I think because you move slower and you have more of a feel and for how the wood is interacting with your tool, I believe you have more control. And with more control comes more precision. All it takes is a little bit of patience and, well, maybe about 5,000 cuts. If you work at it, you'll get there. The more you do it, the faster you will be. Also, the more you do it, you, you start toning up your muscles. Just a little fringe benefit of working with hand tools. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it coming out, and I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please hit that like button. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I like doing these skill builders because I think they are very important. <sighs> I think they're very important, and I think it is underserved in the online woodworking community where most people tend to gravitate towards power tools because you can produce something faster if you have you know stop locks and stuff this is for one-off cuts or a smaller series of cuts or it would be impractical to create a jig system also i really don't have the space for for a table saw and maybe you don't at home anyways guys thanks for watching i really appreciate you coming out and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I release new content every Monday and Friday. Every Monday is a Manliness Monday where I go over things like etiquette, uh, beard care, how to use beard balm, putting in beard beads, a lot of beard stuff, and gun safety, things of that nature. And every Friday I do a woodworking project. And they range from you know making pipes, making the camera stand I'm working on, skill builders, working with epoxy, bottle stoppers, you name it, I want to do it. And if there's something that you want explained, uh, uh, either a clarification or a technique, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to accommodate you. As always, guys, thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And thank you for helping me make a better world one car for the time. See you next week.